Yes? Milton, it's Graham. You'd better get going. Saturday night has begun. You, 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 uh, I don't care. Is there something wrong? Look, I'm not in the mood for doing the news today. I've caught a cold. No, you didn't. You're faking it. But do you even know what I'm going through right now? The cold front came, I got a major headache, and I'm stressed out. Can you at least just get someone else to fill in for me? We don't need an interim newsreader. We need you. Just please get yourself a chance and do the news. We can't have a Saturday night without you, okay? You 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 uck. Fine. Thank you. I'll see you there. Bye. I can't believe I have to do this. Well, what are you waiting for? Can you at least just say something? I can't. I mean what do you want me to say? Hello losers this is my final episode because I'm so done with this crap. Don't be stupid Milton. Just say hello to the viewers. Hello you pieces of crap. Don't talk to them like that. It's so rude. Fine, I'll say something else then. Hello you all and welcome back to this so-called news program that has gotten a lot of attention on YouTube. It's Saturday night, again, I'm stressed out, and I want to quit my job. For God's sake Milton, won't you ever learn to be no- Fine 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 fine, can we instead start? Thank you. Now, on with the first headline. The mayor of Verthurst, Jerry Richter Jr., has been murdered in his own home a couple of days ago. The mayor was getting ready for a meeting when the suspect stabbed him to death. For more info about who the suspect is, here's Deborah Price. Remembering Jerry Richter Jr. That's what the sign said on a black ribbon. It was placed at the front of the mayoral office in Verthurst to remember the life of the mayor. The mayor, the son of the late Jerry Richter Sr., was found dead in his own home on Monday afternoon. Police are treating this as murder. Police deployed two police gums inside the house to investigate, and you can still see the blood on the floor. However, authorities said that the police should have deployed more police gums instead of just two, claiming that it's not enough. Police later managed to trap down the suspect in a house raid and identified its name. And it is, a sheep. Yup, a sheep was responsible for carrying out the mayor's murder. He later pleaded guilty, pleaded to, the guilty to the charges, and was sentenced to 13, 13 years imprisonment. Years imprisonment. He, is he is currently serving his sentence, sentence in, a house. in a house. Why do I have to be here? Wow. I didn't know animals can be murderers too. I mean, I've never seen something like that in my life. Anyway, I am now going to be talking to... Um. Ah. Uh, Ian. What is your name again? Sheldon Cooper. What? Sheldon Cooper? From the Big Bang Theory? No, I'm nothing like him. I only used his name as my nickname, that's all. Oh. Right. Anyway, about this enchantment table. You said that this enchantment table can do cool stuff whenever you enchant something. Is that correct? Yes, but not only it can have the particles fired into the bookshelves, but it can also- now what the hell are you saying? Hey, what the actual hell are you saying? Speak with your own voice you idiot. Didn't you hear what I just said? Speak English. Say something funny! Hey, why did you do that? You just killed one of your guests. But he spoke like Charlie Brown's teacher, and his words didn't make any sense. Now could you not blame me for five minutes and let me get on with my job? Anyway, it's zombie apocalypse live report time with Steve. Oh my god, that was so loud. Hi again, I'm inside a house, and I'm taking- Oh my god. Why are my eyes so big? I look like something out of an anime. Alright, let's just forget about the eyes and get on with this. I'm now gonna equip my diamond emery, get the weapons, and get out of here. Well, here we go. Showtime. What on earth? How did that spider get in there? I'm guessing that the library was too dark. What the hell was that? Why did I freeze all of a sudden? Stomp 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 stomp. It's time to die. Screw you. I shall fight back. Why me? Oh, not you again. 
Go away. No, you won't kill me again. Damn bad. The zombie war. There is no chance of lucky escape. Surrender. We all not get away with this. The hell I can. <laughs> Wow. Thank you for humiliating me. I mean, why can't we ever have a live report without someone dying or cursed events like this happening? Look, it happens rarely, and there's nothing we can do about it. Then why can't you just scrap the zombie apocalypse live reports altogether? They're getting really bored. Milton, are you crazy? I can't scrap those live reports. The fans would be really upset without them. I don't care. This news program would be even better without you because at least you don't have to boss me around or anything. You're a stupid peasant. What did you just call me? You don't speak to me like that. And you don't have to treat me like you're my boss. Why don't you just go home and watch Desperate Housewives nonstop? I am warning you Milton, don't test me. Or what? Drink this. Hey, cut it out. Wow, look at this city over there. It looks amazing. Hey, you got the wrong city. Oh, sorry. Anyway, welcome to Themwell, one of the most popular tourist destinations in Minecraft here. Here we have is a guy riding on a pig. Yeah, it sounds really dumb, but that's not all. This guy right here is walking so slow that it could take like five weeks for him to get home. I mean, he walks like a turtle. This is the blacksmith house, a blacksmith's number one workplace. There is also a chest that doesn't have any emeralds or diamonds in it, just a ton of rubbish. See what I mean? Themwell may seem to be a peaceful city, but it is never exempt from the cursed events happening there. Just like this one. What the hell just happened? Anyway, there are lots of activities to do in this city. You can do things like go horse riding, go archery, and more. In Femwell, you're always welcome to visit at any time, except during bad things happening there, especially when it comes to this. Just good grief, what is happening? Buy a chair! Oh my god, everything has gone berserk. Quick, cue the end tag. Femwell, always welcome, tourists. I should seriously go to this place over there. Hello, what you're seeing is a public service announcement. You see, kids love candies, and they can't have enough of them. However, did you also know that eating candies is dangerous? In Minecraftia, at least 334 children die from eating this candy right here. It is poisonous and it can kill you. Let's show one of those kids as an example. Hooray! Candy! No! Don't eat that candy! It can kill you! What? Who said that eating candy is- Wait a minute! Did I just eat that candy? <laughs> what have I done? So, if you see something suspicious with this candy, don't try to eat it. If you're one of those kids who died, ask your parents to examine the poisonous candy, and take it away. Always make sure to eat healthy candies, not poisonous ones. Created in association with the Minecraftian Health Ministry. Oh no! Not again. Apologies about the fight from earlier. We may now return to our regularly scheduled programming. Man. That really hurt. I can't remember the last time I was punched that hard like this. Anyway, welcome back. I'm still stressed, so let's just forget what has happened and move on with the requests. I don't feel like reading them either. 
Milton, do you want to get sent home early? Fine, just take me home. I don't care. I'm not a Just get on with the requests, please. Fine. All right. Let me just calm down and not waste time. Anyway, this one is from KJF Enterprises. It says, Zombie Apocalypse Live Report with Snowball. What? First Blocky was the reporter, but now him? Are we letting object show characters become reporters now? I mean who's next? Fire E? Don't encourage him. You know he'll always make ideas about who's the reporter and who's wasting my wasting time and let's time. just get on with this. I'm now walking I'm now down the street, street in this peaceful street, town. Everyone's, everyone's asleep, asleep and I'm just here I'm doing, just my doing my job. Wait, what did I just do? Why did I change the time? Damn it Snowball, that's cheating. You're not supposed to do that. The game cheating police are gonna get you for this. Oh hell no! Get the weapons! Move! Go 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 go! You are not allowed to defeat us under the orders of the zombies. You must now be punished. Ha ha! Get reeked! Deep outside, now! No! Not before I have anything to get away from you. <laughs> Let's go! I have to find somewhere safe before they kill me. No, 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 you can't do this to me. I can't die yet. I'm not ready. Stupid. It's time to die. Tut tut, snowball. Now let's just get straight into the next request, which is from Eduardo Marintune's official channel. It says, a funeral of Dan Weldon in 2011, but there's no need for that. We don't have to report his funeral, and I don't think we should show it either. So for this case, this request has been denied. Next request is from the same guy. It says, Zombie a copy lisp with Amy Rose from Sonic. But do we either have to use her Yuba Duck voice or just a regular one? Don't care what voice is it, just get on with the report. Fine. Hey there, I just made my way to the village after hours of walking. My legs start to hurt though, but I don't care. Now let's go find the weapon I use so much. Oh look, a blacksmith house. Hopefully it has my Pico Pico hammer in the chest. What? No Pico Pico hammer? What a ripoff. Oh well, at least I got some good ones. Uh oh, the zombies are on their way. I've gotta kill them. You just killed my dad and it's time for revenge. Not today. Yesterday, how could you? Oh shoot, it's a spider jockey. This is gonna get a bit tricky. You're detected. Traitor detected. Traitor det Nobody calls me a traitor. No one. It's President's boss battle. A damn an 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 you all suffer and die more. What is this? A video game. Dang it, I'm out of food. I need to steal some carrots from the farm, if those monsters let me. Bingo, I got it. It's payback time. <laughs> Screw you zombie, I don't need to die. Oh well yes you will. I saw that. <laughs> Help! 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 It's a trap. I'm surrounded by monsters. Please save me. Uh, where did the monsters go? Did they just disappear? Wait, the zombie apocalypse is over. Oh my god yes, I did it. I actually survived. I'm so happy right now. Anyway, now while you excuse me, I have to go to a bar to celebrate. Back to you Milton. Well, would you look at that? Amy Rose just survived the zombie apocalypse. She's one lucky hedgehog. The next request is from Pedro the Gamer and Vyonder 209, also known as Pedro Silva. It says, interview with the annoying villager that who likes to jumping for his annoyance and interrupt them. Oh, you mean this guy? La 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 Excuse me. Why are you jumping on a trampoline? This is a newsroom, not a playground. You are so gullible. La 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 la. Hey, shut up. Not listening to ya. La 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 la. Are you incompetent or what? I said shut up. You shut up, bruh. Lo 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 la 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 la. Right, that does it. If you don't stop that now, you're gone. Kick me out, why don't you? Dan and an 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 an. 
This guest has been banned because he was literally annoying. Phew. Thank God he's gone. Let's just hope nothing worse will happen tonight. Anyway, this next request is from Razvan V. Oh. Wait, what the hell is this? I thought Vikal Razvmihai was blocked from this channel last year. I mean, how did he manage to come back? He must have created a new account. I think he's plotting revenge against you for blocking him. I am not just gonna sit there and watch Vikal annoy me for the rest of my pathetic life. We have to find a way to stop him once and for all. And how are we going to do that exactly? Block him. Even better. Okay. So I created this lava pool thing where Razvan V can jump in it and die. And this is the test dummy himself, looking really scared and frightened about what's gonna happen to him. Alright Razvan V, goodbye forever. And don't even bother coming back. <coughs> and the Yago. He's now dead. Okay, you can block him now. User has been successfully blocked. Justice served. Anyway, now that we made it back to the studio, Let's get back to the... Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm going home. Where else? I've had a rough day. But we haven't even finished the news yet. Sorry, I got no choice. See ya. No, 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 don't you dare leave. Too late. You couldn't stop him. Stupid dog. If he runs away again, he's fired. But you're not his boss. Whatever. Anyway. Let me calm down again and head back to the requests. This one is from, no surprise here, Eduardo Marintoon's official channel. It says, where does the oh my god my ears are bleeding sound effect comes from? I'm not too sure, it could be from a Berry Ghost Games Twisted Murderer gameplay video, but I can't remember which part was it, that's all I could tell you. And here's another request from the same guy, and it says, the Adventures of Roblox Ads. There's no way in hell I'll ever accept this request. <coughs> request denied. And the next request comes from, good grief it's the same dude from before. It says, travel guide, Daytona International Motor Speedway. <coughs> oh come on Milton, I mean, what is even the problem? Don't you like Daytona or something? I do love Daytona, but I only prefer Minecraft and places instead of outside the country. That's it. And there are no surprises in guessing who sent this next request. It's from Eduardo Marintoon's official channel yet again. It says, interview with Mickey Mouse from Disney, and here is Mickey Mouse himself. Hello me. Oh wait hold up. Are you really Mickey Mouse? Yes Milton, it is me. That's weird. You don't look like a mouse at all. You're just a silver fish. No really, I am well in fact Mickey Mouse. Look, see, I even got my name above me to prove it. Now let me get this straight. You're not Mickey Mouse because you're just a dumb silver fish. You look nothing like him. But can you at least please? Alright, you had your fun. Say hello to my little friend. No, why did you do that? Man. I just don't like it when cartoon characters come into the studio and look nothing like how they usually do. I mean, it's just wrong. God. Can we please have some proper good requests for once? Anyway, this one from Miriam Marin says, Travel Guide, Las Vegas with Frank. What did I just tell you? Travel Guide only focuses on Minecraft and places, not outside the country. I mean, I've only read some good requests and the other ones are crap. Look, you can't just criticize the requester over requesting a travel guide segment about a non-Minecraftian place. Can you please just give her a chance and accept the request? I'd say no. <coughs> request denied. For crying out loud, please give me some good requests already. This request comes from the same woman, and it says, interview with Eduardo Marin. Oh, I'll be happy to talk to him all right. Eduardo Marin. Sit down, now listen. Why do you keep requesting headlines about Daytona, NASCAR, or Oblux Adzeras? Because why not? I am obsessed with NASCAR and Daytona so much, and I'd also happen to be obsessed with the Roblox ads so much. What? You're actually defending those Roblox ads? What kind of human being are you? Look, it's nothing like that. I only make requests about Roblox ads because way back in July 2022, you got a Roblox ads error once. Yeah, and you seriously think that I'm getting another one? Over my dead body. Listen, I know how angry you are with me, and I don't get why my requests are dumb. 
I'm sorry for frustrating you with them, and I'll promise I'll make better requests as soon as possible. Could you please forgive me for yelling at me and Miriam? Alright, fine. You win. I'm sorry for being rude to one of my fans like that. I'll forgive you. But I won't. <laughs> oh great. Now that zombie just barged in and killed a fan in our studio. Curse you zombie. Anyway, the next request comes from, yup it's the same woman from last time, and it says, zombie a copy lisp with spongebob from spongebob squarepants. Well, what are you waiting for? Are you going to accept the request or what? But please don't decline it. Ugh, fine. I'll accept the request. I hope he's not going to be very annoying. Don't worry. I won't be speaking with my annoying voice. I promise. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Oh what the heck? What is this? There's no crusty crab around here? Oh wait. This isn't the bikini bottom. Huh? Where did the chest go? It's gone. Maybe I should try another blacksmith house. What? No chest in there either? This must be some sort of a trick. I need to find out what is going on. What the? How did that chest get to the top of the building? I have to get the ladders from the library and get the things I need. Uh oh. Looks like I won't be able to make it. Oh crap. He's right there. Go 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 Phew, close call. I should be safe up here. Ooh yeah, I got the weapons. Come to me, Sponge Boy. Come to me. Never. You will not survive. Yes, I can. Man, I'm starting to get hungry. I wish I could get some Krabby Patties. But I don't see any of them around here. Yes, got some beef. Let's go. Just come to me. Away, who's a? Yes, way. <laughs> ha 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 ha! Yes, I survived the apocalypse. I actually made it through without dying. I'm so lucky. Okay, Milton. Let's get back to you. Thank you, SpongeBob. I mean, wow. First, Amy Rose survived. But now him, this has made my day a bit better. And here comes another zombie apocalypse live report request. But this time it's from Blocky Studios, or Cordeval. This report will be reported by Frankie Foster from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Finally, we got a good request. I don't really watch that cartoon though, but it's still good. Now let's head over to Frankie and see if she could survive the apocalypse as Amy and Spongebob did. Okay, so I just went outside for a drink at a bar because I was thirsty as heck, and now I'm outside walking around and getting ready for the battle against the zombies to begin. Oh, and there's also a police golem as well. At least this makes the zombie battle a bit easier. Well, I actually got the weapons without going to the next blacksmith house. Talk about first try lucky. Oh boy, it's starting. Come at me you little freak. I'm gonna take you down. Woohoo, and the little guy is dead. It's oh my god, there's another one. You cannot stop the almighty zombie. Damn you. What the heck was that? Did that creeper just explode behind me and I didn't even notice? I should only be glad I wasn't hurt. Worthless woman detected. Worthless woman detected. Worthless woman. Now would be e e e e e. More like not goodbye. I'm not ready to die. You all now. Get lost, freaks. What the heck is that? How did that zombie get to the top of the roof? Oh, will you stop trying to walk toward me? Fuji, a Sue, a Siemens. Nobody screw you. No. No, 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 this can't happen. I'm not ready to die yet. Give me a chance. Please. Well, shoot. Frankie's dead. She begged the monsters not to kill her, but they didn't care and did it anyway. The next request is from Seven Bravo. 
a fan name of the Australian TV channel. It says, Milton visits Jiz brother. What the? I didn't even know I had a brother. Yo, what's up my bro? Long time no see. Oh boy. Here he is. Look, I even baked a cake for you. But my birthday was two days ago. You don't need to bake that. Oh, and there's a cat sitting on the cake. Good grief. You are starting to act like that other annoying villager from earlier. Please shut. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest till in the- you JUST SHUT UP! <laughs> okay, I'm going. Goodbye. Yeah, and take that cat and cake with you. Sorry about that. That was just my annoying brother. He's actually a bit older than me, but I don't care. Age is just a number, really? And here is another request from Sky Animations. There are two of them actually, but because we're running out of time slowly, we'll stick with the Element Animation Villager interview for another episode. Anyway, the request says, Entire village of Light Marsh completely destroyed? Wow. That doesn't look good. We don't know if there is any video footage or screenshots of the blast yet, but I'll tell you the story about what happened. The entire village of Light Marsh was completely destroyed overnight, according to reports from other villages. It is believed that someone went into the village overnight and used a mass destruction weapon to blow the village up and kill all of the villagers living there. The only survivor of the attack was the mayor who was away on a family trip at the time, and he and his family are very devastated that the village was destroyed. Upon further investigation, it was later revealed that Fan was the one who blew up the village using special TNT blocks from the Too Much TNT mod. When he was questioned of why did it, he only had this to say I did it as an act of revenge against Milton for mistreating me in Minecraft news gone crazy, I know I caused mass destruction and killed everyone but I don't care. That was Milton's home village right? That old man deserves to suffer for what he has done to me. I hope that one day, he gets killed by Herobrine and tortured by the devil and she devil for his crime. I don't care what happens to me now. End of story. If convicted, Fan could be facing a lifetime sentence in jail or a permanent ban from all of Minecraft sheer. Yeah, no wonder. Fan got so pissed off that he destroyed Lightmarsh and killed everyone, except the mayor. True, but I doubt seeing Fan coming back because he already made a decision of leaving the program forever. So eat that, punk. And now, on with the final request. This one is from, for crying out loud, Eduardo Marintoon's official channel. But that's okay at least because I already forgave him. Anyway, it says, weather forecast in Ross Chastainville with Frank. No! Don't you dare start this again. You apologize to that guy, and you have to accept his request. But I already know what is going to happen. The reporter explains what the weather will be like. Then the weather gets stormy, and then random monsters appear out of nowhere and kill everyone, including the reporter. Can we at least skip it? Absolutely not. Either you accept the request, or you will be in serious trouble. Your choice. Okay, fine. You talked me into it. We'll start the report. That's my boy. Hello there. This is my first time presenting the weather forecast, which is something I never did before. Anyway, I'm at this place called Ross Chastainville, a really weird place with very strange events. Okay, so today's weather is. Whoa, 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 you must watch the consequences of your life teams. Nighttime mod activate. What the? It's system you see me teamy. The task is, it's time to do. Doing, 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 doing. Open the door. Come on. Oh, just the camera. Oh, it's too, it's too, it's too, it's too, it's too, it's too. The task is party. I don't do it. Good job, much good. Ah, ha, 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 ha. What the hell is happening? I don't even know what is happening anymore. 
This weather forecast has been completely cursed. Tita. Oh no, oh no, oh no 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 what have you done? Okay, wow, that was obviously unplanned. Oh never mind, at least I didn't have to do the report anyway. Oh actually, you know what? I'm sick and tired of doing this job. I am quitting this news program, effective immediately. You idiot, Milton, you can't do this. You can't quit. Too late. I already have. I made up my mind and I'm handling my resignation notice. I don't care what utter bullcrap is going on in and out. It's best I should leave the newsroom and move on with my life. Go find a new newsreader, because I am gone forever. But what about Michael? No! I don't care about Michael Picker, or you, or everybody else. It's over. I'm done. I am now out. Goodbye, idiots. Damn it, he's gone. Now what am I going to do? Hey, why don't you pick me as the new- OH MY GOD! Uh oh. Is it something I said? Right? The interim news reader will be revealed on the next MCNGC episode.